Yo, hey everybody, in this video we're going to cover some basic arithmetic in the C programming language. Because sometimes, you gotta math. Let's create a few integer variables. int x equals 2, or pick a different number, really doesn't matter. int y equals 3. int z equals 0. z is going to store our result. We're going to perform various arithmetic operators on x and y and store the result within z. For basic addition, we can write something such as z equals x plus y. Since x is 2 and y is 3, 2 plus 3 is 5, and we're storing that within z. Then let's print it just to test it. We'll use printf. We're displaying an integer. We need a format specifier of percent %d. We will display z. And it should be the number 5, which it is. That's addition. Then we have subtraction. Z equals X minus Y. What do you think the result's going to be? Negative 1. We have multiplication. You use an asterisk for multiplication. Z equals X times Y. 2 times 3 is 6. Then division. Division is going to be a little strange if we're working with integers. Let me show you what happens. z equals x, then use a forward slash for division, y. Normally 2 divided by 3, that should be 0.666 repeating, right? Well, we actually get 0. We're working with integers. Integers can't store decimal portions. If z were a floating point number, we would also need to change the format specifier to an F. Let's see what happens now. Well, we get zero, but it is a floating point number. What we're doing is integer division. If we're dividing by an integer, we can't retain that decimal portion. So in this example, let's change Y to be a floating point number. And now we get 0 0.6 repeating. We have that decimal portion. You do have to pay attention to that. If you're dividing by an integer, you won't retain that decimal portion. Then we have the modulus operator. That's going to give you the remainder of any division. Let's change x, y, and z all to be integers. I'll set x to be 10. We'll keep y as 3. We'll set z equal to be x modulus y. The modulus operator gives you the remainder of any division. 10 divided by 3 doesn't divide evenly. There's a remainder of 1. Let's test that. We'll need to use the format specifier of D for decimal. 10 doesn't divide by 3 evenly. The modulus operator gives us a remainder of 1. It's kind of like back in school, how a teacher would say everybody get into groups of 3, and there's one kid remaining. That's Steve. Steve knows what he did. If Y were 2, well, 10 divides by 2 evenly. It'd be like the teacher saying, everybody in this class of 10 break up into groups of 2. Then there's no remaining students left over. The remainder is 0. The modulus operator would be great if determining if a number is even or odd. Because you could just say modulus 2. If the number is even, it should divide by 2 evenly. The remainder of 10 divided by 2 gives us a remainder of 0. But if it were 11, well, there's a remainder of 1. That's the modulus operator. Then we have the increment and decrement operator. Increment is represented by two pluses. x is currently 10. If I were to take x, add plus plus, we would increment it by 1. Let's display x. So we have 11. Or we can decrement with minus minus x is now 9. You see increment and decrement operators a lot when working with loops. We would need some way to count the cycles. How many times has this loop cycled? So that's one place where you'll see them. Now with these arithmetic operators, there's also something called augmented assignment operators. These would apply if you're reassigning the same variable. Now let's say that x is 10. If I want to add a number to x and reassign it, for example, 2, I could say x equals x plus 2. 
and that should give me 12. But there's a shortcut. We can say x plus equals 2, and that would do the same thing. This could even be a different number, like 3. Now x is 13. Now if we're subtracting, we would just have to follow a similar pattern. x equals x minus 3. Or instead, we could say x minus equals 3. So 10 minus 3 is 7. Then we can do multiplication. x equals x times 2 x is 10 times 2, that means x will be 20. Or we could say x times equals 2, and that will still give us 20. Or division. x equals x divided by 2. That's going to give us 5. Or we could say x divided by equals 2, and that also gives us 5. These are augmented assignment operators. It's basically a shortcut if you're reassigning the same variable. All right, everybody, so those are some basic arithmetic operators in C.